Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be recreating Iman Gadji's small clip animation using a light motion. But before we start, let's take a look at the preview. Okay, friends, let's do this. To create the animation, we must begin by drawing a black rounded rectangle with an outline. After that, we need to add text onto the rectangle and ensure that the numbers are rounded as well. First I am going to creating a rounded rectangle. Now duplicate this layer. Select this layer and go to colors and select no fill to this layer. Now tap on border and shadow. Here enable stroke. Now change stroke color and adjust the width. Let's rename these layers. Now increase all these layers duration up to 8 seconds. Let's keep this rectangles here. Now select stroke layer and make it as a group layer. Select this layer and go to colors. Here select gradient, now adjust here. Let's rename it as stroke. Now we will add text. Select white color for your text and select any bold font for your text. Now change text position as I shown. Let me adjust this text little bit more. Now I am going to create a dollar sign, which will be placed inside a stroked circle shape. You can easily download this type of image from the internet instead of creating it yourself, but creating it yourself can be a rewarding experience. If you want to learn how I created this, simply download the project XML file to gain a better understanding. Now, we will separate this text into two text layers. Duplicate this text layer. Select first one and tap on edit text. Here I am keeping only $10,000. Now do same for second text. Now adjust these text positions as shown. Now we will add the numbers. Please add a rectangular shape with a black color and adjust the shape size to fit the size of the canvas. Now drag it here and select these two layers and group them. Apply the cylinder effect to this layer. You can find this effect in the 3D section. Please scroll up and select light source then change the point light to flat. We will experiment with these values at a later time. Now we will adjust this layer position and size. Please open the cylinder parameters and adjust the scale here. Apply the chroma key effect to this layer now. Here change the color of the key to black. Can you please hold on for a moment while I adjust the position of this layer? Now add a rectangle shape. Please adjust the size and position of this shape as I demonstrated in the video. Now apply Gaussian blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength. Now select these two layers and tap on masking icon. Let me adjust blur strength a little bit more. Now it's perfect for me. Now select stroke layer and go to move and transform. Here select scale and also unlink here. At this frame, add a scale keyframe to this layer. Move forward by one second and then add another keyframe. Move to the first keyframe and reduce the scale value as shown. 
Now edit your keyframe curves. Now we will create the same animation to the black shape. Now we have something like this. Now we will add motion blur effect to stroke layer. I think I have to adjust stroke size little bit here. We will now apply the swipe animation to the remaining layers. I added a rectangular shape for masking. Let me adjust it first. Now place it here. Make a copy of this layer. Now place it here. Let's increase this layer's duration. Now at this frame, add a position keyframe to this layer. Also add one more here. At this frame change shape position as shown. Now edit your keyframe curves. Now we will create same animation to the second shape layer. We will place this shape position here. Now select these two layers and group them. Let's rename it as mask. Guys, please pay close attention now. Drag this layer here. Now duplicate this mask layer. Drag it to above the month text layer. Now duplicate mask layer one more time. Before doing anything, let me group these two layers first. Now drag this mask above this layer. Now select these two layers and tap on exclusion icon. Make sure that you are selected mask layer and dollar layer. Drag it here and renamed it. Now select these two layers and tap on exclusion icon. Now rename it. Now select these two layers and tap on exclusion icon. Now rename it. As you can see guys, we almost did, but we have to adjust little bit. Before doing that, let me start this layer from here. Now it's perfect for me. Now we will create fade in animation to numbers layer. Select this layer and tap on edit group. We will start fade animation from this frame. Select this group layer and tap on blending and opacity. Add a opacity keyframe here. Move here. Add another one. At the first keyframe decrease opacity as shown. Now edit your keyframe curves. Now come back to the main project. Let's create fade in animation to stroke layer also. Let me create fade in animation to this layer also. Perfect. Now select numbers layer and tap on edit group. At this frame, add rotation keyframe to this layer. Now move here and add another one. And here adjust Y axis rotation as I shown in the video. Also adjust Y axis rotation at this keyframe. Now edit your keyframe curves. Now select dollar layer. Add a mark here. Now go to move and transform. Add a scale keyframe here. Move here and here adjust the scale. Guys, we have to center the pivot point first, let me do it. Now create zoom animation to this layer. Now drag this layers here. Select first layer, and go to move and transform. Add a position keyframe here. Also add position keyframe to this layer. Now move here, and change position as shown.
Now do same for this layer. Now edit your keyframe curves. Now we will create fade out animation to numbers layer. Also create fade out animation to this layer. Now we will create fade animation to this layer also, but do not decrease opacity value all the way down. Let's keep it 50%. Now at here, add a rectangle shape, adjust it as shown. Change this shape color to black. Now apply the Gaussian blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength as shown. Let me adjust this shape size and position a little bit more. Now drag it here. Now I'm adding Vector Drawing Tool. Let's draw a shape around dollar. Now select these two layers, and tap on Masking icon. Let's create Fade In animation to this layer also. Now extend this layer duration. Now copy $10,000 text. Paste here. Now edit this text as 20K. Now reposition here. From this mark, move 5 frames forward and change 10K text position. Now add position keyframe to 20k text layer. Now at this frame, change position as shown. Now edit your keyframe curves. Now duplicate this layer. Keep it here. Let's edit it as 30k. Now we will create same animation that we did to 10k text layer and 20k text layer. Now add a rectangle shape for masking. Adjust this shape size and position as shown. Now apply motion blur to these text layers. Now select these three layers and group them. Now select these two layers and tap on masking icon. Now we have this. Here I forget to add one keyframe, let's add an adjust. Now it's perfect for me. Now select all layers except background layer and group them. Apply the flip layer effect to this layer. 
you can find this effect in the 3D section. Adjust angle value as shown in the video. Let's keep it here. At this frame, add angle keyframe. Add one more here, and also adjust angle value as shown. Now edit your keyframe curves. Select this layer, and tap on edit group. Now here, select this black rectangle shape layer and group it. Now reduce opacity to 80%. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below which editor you want me to recreate next.